let's go from level one all the way to level four of toxic masculinity from the female outside of her feminine frame behaving masculine toward the male okay. so level one I was thinking about that's level one of toxic masculinity everything starts with a thought even if it's spur of the moment something happened that triggered that action there wasn't a permission ask she didn't ask permission babe is it okay if I dot 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 versus when she says I was thinking about dot 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 she's already been influenced by a friend of hers or something she saw on TikTok or something she saw on social media or something she saw on TV you say oh come on bro you're being too hard I said level one that's the lightest level babe I was looking into dot 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 see what just happened that's the second level of toxic masculinity you say bro come on man that's almost like level one no no level one it only was a thought then it goes to I was looking into she's already taken taken initiative the masculinity is toxic when it comes from the female side let's go to the third level of toxic masculinity third level Babe, I'm going to. See what happened? She went from I'm thinking about to I'm looking into to I'm going to. So she done told you what she going to do. She agreed to marry you, first of all. She agreed to have children by you. She living under your edifice. She living under your house, your domicile, whatever you want to call it. She's usurped your authority. She should be, babe, is it okay? Which, which maybe, maybe she thought about it. Maybe she even looked into it. But she's coming to you in a respectful, submissive manner. She's saying, babe, is it okay if I look into? Babe, is it okay if I research? But then it starts getting toxic when she tells you I was thinking about. She already made it a possibility without even asking you. Is, are you cool with that? Then you go into the third level of toxic masculinity. I'm going to. So the fourth level of toxic masculinity. I need you here with the kids at five because dot, dot, dot. I got to go to work. She already got the job. Uh, now you're telling me after we done had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven kids. You're telling me uh, you I, I got to be home at this time, you know, because you then took on some other, you know, Thing without even checking with me i'm telling you this is the fourth level of toxic masculinity and this is a hard road you know th th this leads to ultimately to divorce divorce for level one of toxic masculinity is i was thinking about so she's already got it in her mind the wheels are turning to do a thing without even checking with you okay level two higher than that okay is I was looking into. So she already started making an effort. She got a thought and she started making an effort to uh, possibly uh, get into this thing. Uh, level three is I was going to. Not not checking with you. Not, not trying to consider how that would uh, affect and influence your life. You know. Uh, but she, I'm, I was going to. So she's already, she's already, the train is already on the track as they say. And the last level is I need you here by such and such a time. I start my new job Monday. You know. I need you to drop the kids off at, at daycare. They start in daycare because of the, she didn't already laid it out for you. She ain't consider you at all. She didn't consider you at all.